Well, if you've never heard of the follow-on mission, you've got a treat here this morning. We're going to learn all about them. AJ and Rebecca Jackson from the follow-on mission have joined us. Thanks for waking up early coming here with us today. Well, good morning. Thank you. Thank First you. of all, tell us about uh, the history of the follow-on mission, how this kind of came to be. Well, this came to be about four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, throughout my military career, I dealt with hardships and later post-traumatic stress and depression through, uh, through athletic competition. It was always, always has been my outlet. Mm -hmm. As the combat entries began to pile up, I eventually lost the ability to compete athletically. And at the urging of my mental health providers, um, Rebecca entered me into an automobile race uh, with another veterans organization or another veterans team mm -hmm. in Texas. And after seeing the immediate improvement in the quality of my life, we decided to start a, a foundation and uh, take this adrenaline therapy, bring it to other veterans, but do it at no cost to the individual. That is awesome. And you are based, you said, uh, just outside California, Missouri, yeah, right? Yeah, we're, mm -hmm. uh, we're on, just off Highway 50, uh, Montauk County. Mm -hmm. um, still just city natives at heart, but uh, mm -hmm. spent a lot of time in California growing up. Very good. Adrenaline therapy is how it is, uh, I'll read this exactly here. You provide adrenaline therapy through fully immersive motorsports. So for people who have never heard of that, exactly what does that mean? Um, adrenaline therapy is the process of recreating the physiological reactions ex experienced in combat, but in a recreational environment. Um, this is done so, uh, you can enjoy uh, an adrenaline rush again without the anxiety, fear, and anger associated with combat. It reprograms the body to learn that adrenaline is a fun thing. Um, I tell people uh, getting thrown off a train and riding a roller coaster both provide an adrenaline rush. One's mm -hmm. fun and one's very unhealthy. Right, so. exactly. So this is a, a way to do that, mm -hmm. and uh, you take races. You're all over the country too, right, with these events? Yeah, uh, the series we uh, the, the series we spend most of our time in is the Champ Car Endurance Series, and it hits for our racers and fans. These are the bucket list tracks all over the country: uh, Daytona, Sebring. Mm -hmm. uh, two years ago, o the new Ozarks International down at uh, Gravelly Mill. Very good. So are, uh, when veterans are entered in this, are they just drivers? Do they handle other duties as well? No. Um, of course, the, the driver is our, is that, that's our premier, that's our focal point position. Mm -hmm. We have people that don't have a desire to race the car. They come to crew, volunteer. We have people come to the shop to just work on the car and hang out. Mm -hmm. um, I will tell you, though, once people get around us, and crew, they do have a tendency to, to wind up being drivers. Mm -hmm. Right, so if mm -hmm. someone knows a veteran and they want to get them involved, how do they do that? Uh, easiest way to do it is go to our website, which is just thefollowonmission.org, right there on mm -hmm. the screen. Yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah, um, that, that's our, uh, just go to there, nominate a driver. You are absolutely welcome to nominate yourself. Yep. And it's just a real quick, give us a quick bio, Tell us a little bit about yourself, your combat experience, your military experience, and we'll schedule a phone, a phone call with you. Um, it, it's very quick and simple to get a driver nominated. And that is awesome. And I know, uh, Rebecca, there are other ways people can help, right? You can, uh, if you want to make a donation, you can do that on your website mm -hmm. also. Absolutely. You can go to the website. Um, it's very simple. We even have a QR code on our car if you see pictures of our car out there. Um, yeah. We don't have much time left, but uh, what are some of the great things you've heard from people who have gone through this? Um, well, speaking from, from my own, my own mm -hmm. uh, experience, um, it was literally a life-saving venture for me. Uh, what we hear from the other drivers is it, it's turned their life back around. Um, they're, they're happy again, um, but the biggest thing is being folded back into a team of environment. Once the injuries pile up, generally uh, a military person is going to get pulled off their, their operational team and we just plug them right back into a, a team of like-minded individuals. They get the, the teamwork, that camaraderie that they've been missing. I think one of the important things I'd, that I'd like to talk about just briefly, I know we don't have much time, but mm -hmm. the, with the adrenaline therapy, it is not those, those short rushes. We're not trying to give somebody an, an adrenaline fix. Mm -hmm. It's really involving um, the, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic systems and reacclimating them to, to adrenaline in a positive way. And the endurance sports, when we're putting a driver in the car for 90 to two, 90 minutes to two hours, it really does that for them. Fantastic program. So again, we just had the website on the screen, but there it is again, the thefollowonmission.org. Go to their website. You can learn all about them, and uh, we'll have more on our website later on this morning. So AJ, Rebecca, appreciate your time. Thanks for coming in. Thank oh, you thank so, you so much. much.